My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed. I'm Arachia Galadirathan, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 as we continue on as Eltharian. And the Greenskins are now farthest from our mind, as of course, as many of you will know, watching along, it is now the Skaven we must deal with. Clan Eshen has come. We've managed to just about save Norivress, but also we've made the terrible, terrible, terrible decision to stick with Kemri when they are actually really weak. So our southern bounds are going to be attacked because we have entered the war on the side of our ally, which we should never have done. Um, why did that just jump to, all the way back to Tyrion? Um, it's too late really to change it. But they're not actually technically at war with me. Oh no, yes, yes I am. Yes, yes I am. What vile filth stands before me? I can pay you, but you just don't like me. I can try and get them on board, actually, through influence. I've got a ton of it. I admit that was a really stupid decision. I should have broken the alliance with Kemri. I never should have let these people come to war with me because they... Um, I can't see them in the list. They are much more powerful than Kemri. There they are. There we are. Do all of that. Um, where's Réponse? That's not Réponse, but we'll boost with them as well. And she doesn't seem to be down here. Chevalier de Leonis, there she is. Use all the influence we have to get them to like us just a little bit more. Uh, they don't like that I'm a great power and they don't like that I've got a treaty with Kemri. Um, maybe they'll like it a bit if I can break that. Because Kemri are absolutely no threat whatsoever. And that's it, to be honest. Um, I don't mind having a non-aggression and trade with them. Is there anyone else that we can trade with that might slightly like us? The nation calls. The hunt marshals are getting friendly. But be wary of what you Agreed. Yes. And defensive alliance. Very well. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Reichland. We should really be making friends now. You're not going to do the trade agreement and I'm not going to pay you for it. Ostland, your strength rank is so low. Reichland, Reichland is now more powerful than them, fortunately. The Golden Order is basically dead. Uh, trade is what I'd need, but I can't get a trade like Border Princes. Where are the Border Princes? Musulon, I'd really like a peace treaty with you. Uh, just to give me time to deal with the other problems. Border princes. Look, we really like each other now. I refuse. Come on. No. Come on. Yes. Delay, you must like me a little bit more. No, you're not going to do anything. Suddenberg. Oh, we've, you, don't, you hate me. I'm not sure why, but you do. Because you're part of the people in the south who all hate me. Everybody here hates me. Ready to swordfish. Now, see, you're undead and you obviously hate me, but, I mean, we could get trade at least. Just because we don't like each other doesn't mean we can't buy each other's goods. That's the basis of capitalism, woman. Come on! <laughs> There's no other trade agreements that we can get, other than, obviously, with the Bretonians, but they all hate me, and one of them's even at war with me. And the Order of Lawmaster. No, so we've got... That's all we're going to get, diplomacy-wise. So, what we are doing today is uh, taking more time. Master of high Take and they're going to come back I'll to try and save it. But if we can take it and hold it, that would be good. He's going to chase down Queek and kill him off. I have no doubt. Queek. Queek will not live to survive this day. I'm tempted, to be honest, really, to get walls because I think we're going to get attacked so much here. And having four extra white lions and three Lothan Seaguard can only help. Um, there's little else that we really want to build here. Um, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to chuck walls into Norivresk because I really don't want this settlement to die. And until we can get a better building, we'll get craftsmen so that we at least get some money. I'm quite tempted to dispatch a Rome because I'm not sure. He's increasing the trade. His upkeep is 271. But in order to actually increase trade, he's got to stand in my region. Um, I'm just going to I am just going to get rid of him. That will see our money grow. I'm not bothered about learning the extent of Eshin. I'm happy to just know that they have almost everything. Ah, oh, but High Queen Kalida's still alive. And High Queen Kalida is happy to do everything. 
she owns that that corner. There's some there's some chance. There's a brief, brief, brief chance that we have friends in the south. Krokgar still lives. Ah oh, yes. Clan Eshin do not hold the entire southeastern corner. There are allies here who are willing to side with us. We can get a non. We can get a. Um, we can definitely get a non-aggression. So the Clan Eshin do hold most, if not all, the mountains, and they hold all of this. But they've not yet got the full north southeastern corner. So if we can just take back our lands, oh, we may get something out of it. There may be some small glimmer of hope. Have I moved everyone on Alt One? Take me back to Alt One. Where is Luthien? What are you up to? Yes, we have moved everyone over here. So, yeah, Avalon's about to rebel. I know. Let's have this. We should be able to just nip over and deal with Avalon's rebellion straight away and it not cause too much grief. Oh, Rictus are going away. But I did see Nagarond had some ships on the on the seas. Ah, oh, we've been ambushed. Oh, if we're ambushed, though, does that mean the reinforcements from Morkheim won't join the battle? High magic. They're definitely going to have the upper hand, and it's Deathmaster Snitch himself. We need not fear this is going to be... Lessons likely a crushing defeat no i actually no they do get their reinforcements when they ambush don't they the reinforce the city's garrison will rise oh. why would you walk in such a poor line Pause it, please. Pause it, please. We don't even know where they are, but the enemy's reinforcements, as expected, are coming in. Um, we can't really do anything until we know where the enemy actually is. But I suppose we can at least form some sort of a line. Just stand like that for now. Um, archers, get yourselves running and get yourselves over there. Um... Great lions, if you can come over here. Eagle, get yourselves up into the sky and find out what's going on. War lions, move to there. Let's move, people. Yes, we've been ambushed, but... We have number parity against Skaven. Oh, there's Snicked himself. Is it him on his own? It can't be him on his own. No, there they are, I was going to say. White lions manoeuvre. Archers, just get up on this hill. Lions, get out there, get out there, get out there. Eagle, go and get involved. Oh, they called in their damn thing. Archers, get up onto that hill, please. They're, got they're archers, aren't they? They're not going to let me... Oh, there's no point running into them. We're not going to get anywhere. But you, don't let ourselves get flanked. Well, they're very, very close. They might let us go for them. Those white lines are dealing with them. That's not a problem. You guys go and stop them. The eagle's got the gutter runners. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic at the moment. Damn it. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come on! Kill him, 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 kill him. I don't care what's going on anywhere else. Just kill the damn... Yes! Snicket is dead. Snicket is dead. I don't know if that's really going to help us in the long run, but he's dead, and that's all that we care about today. You guys, pull away. Right, you, target on them. Silver and guard, let's get you back up here. You guys, stop chasing them. As expected, they are just going to run for days. Change tact. What are they? Get them to come back and hit them. Archers. Don't worry about chasing them. They're off. You're on them. She's coming back. White lions. Let's get out there. Silver in guard. Let's get out there. Move the line forward. Archers here. They've got so many ranged units. Goodness gracious. Quickly now. 
The white lions I've completely ignored about. I ignored those. It's so annoying. They have so many skirmish troops. <laughs> We're up against an archer army and boy do we hate it. Right, you've got to target the archers. We've got to target the sheer volume of archers they've brought. Lions, 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 lions. I told you to run away and you didn't run away. I told you to run away and you've not done it. Do as you are damn well told. Let's just move you out. Oh, there's a master. There's a... Let's turn you around. You hit those. Keep firing. Keep firing. Don't withdraw. Stand your ground. Those white lions can come in there. You can charge and hit them. This is absolute disarray. Carnage up there. Right. Up there, they are doing a number on us. Target them. War lions. Come together on that unit. White lions. Someone pop back and hit him. Silver Guard are holding, but the Lions got them, got them to break. Yep, you keep keep on them, keep on them. Archers up here. Archers, new plan. Form a line. You guys move up the hill. She's not dead, is she? No, she's at the back of the line. That's good. Move up the hill. Right, you guys come and stop those from attacking us. Archers kill the enemy's general. I can't pin him in place, so you're just going to have to get him as he's running very close to you. You guys go for the gutter runners. You're hitting them. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. They'll take a huge... You send those running. Right, I don't think we need you to shoot him. We've got enough on him now. Come on, everyone. Come on, everyone. Yes! For the king. Lions pull out. Spearmen. All of you on them. They still have more troops than us, but many of their troops are running away. Our lions are now running too, though. You're fighting on them. Come on. They've got no lords left. I should have done that. I should have sent you to shoot them. To the fray, archers. It shall be done. You refer. Without fail. Those units routing. Ancestors. Lions come and hit those. Oh, our spears. Our spears are getting closer and they're just running away instantly. Come on, guys. Come on. Without fail, we will obey. No, oh, no. Those are routing. Those are shattered. Oh, they're not shattered, but they're running away. Right, let's get in down in here at these gutters. Those archers of you who are still fighting, continue over there. You're coming to hit them. You're on them. Oh, they're changing their mind. That's perfect time to hit them with the flames. Oh, no. Another force has come back. Come on, run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away. Run away! Master of sorcery. Understood. The white lions here are about our only real chance of getting this. Without fail. We are of the winds. Ancestors for order. You can still fire. You can still fire. White lions go back and hit them. You're charging into them. They're just gonna run away, but charge into them anyway. Go and help her. I think we've done it. I think we are closing in. 
We've got most of them running away now. You go and help there as well. They're still only routing. No, they're shattered now. They're going. They're shattered. It's them there. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. They're all shattered. Anyone who still has arrows left? Yes! Yes! Oh, thank goodness for that. Very Pyrrhic. Very, 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 very Pyrrhic. If any enemy force comes, we're, we're dead. We're the, she's not going to hold. But Hephaelia, you have performed admirably today. Snickich was no match. He killed a lot, though. 203. Look at that. Our golden sword. We've got 145. 168. 168. War lion. White lions of Trace, as opposed to the actual lions of Trace. I feel like they should possibly rebrand them and rename them now that there are actual white lions. It is all lesser beings deserve. Yes. Ah, oh, no, and they're reinforced. There's two massive armies coming. Oh my goodness. No, if we take Morgheim, she's just going to die. But that's the best chance we've got. But there are four Skaven armies in a, in a, the mist here. I will give. I promise. Yeah, I would like that with you. I don't want any th further risks from the south. We've already got plenty of troubles. Oh, of course, you've taken Varda's Haven. Oh, hang on, this one actually has a chance of holding. Let's fight it. Let's fight it. The Our army is just outside. They've made a critical error there. We can do it, we can do it. Mark Walden will fall. I can't see any ghost people this time. They all look to be sh zombies or skeletons. Not a tr not a trouble. Zombies and skeletons all day. Welcome to the welcome to the fight. We've got a nice hill here. We can't be flanked because we've got a little town that we can defend. Strange buildings, very strange buildings. I think that little hill there is going to be our best bet. What we have this time is far more cavalry than I would usually command. Spearman, you're going to be massively outnumbered. But that's what you're going to have to do. Eagle. Our own cavalry is ready. Right, this time it's going to be a cavalry heavy battle. But we can do that. We'll be alright. Hold in the middle. Right. Oh, just too late. But they hardly killed any. That was a complete waste of a spell. That works really well, actually. Fire while you're doing it. Come on. Shoot at something. Shoot at something. Now they have got some cavalry over there, haven't they? Black Knights. I'd be interested for you to give them the run around and shoot at them. There's Mark Walden himself. He's given us far more trouble than the actual leader of Musalon has. That cavalry will charge us, so as soon as we start shooting it, I have no doubt. But I really would like that cavalry dead. I don't really want to risk having our getting enemy cavalry deeds trying to stop our cavalry. We are outnumbered two to one. Just keep running away. Just keep making them chase you. They're going to try and go all the way around the building, I think. Come on, keep firing, keep firing. You fire so slowly. Oh, they finally started losing some numbers. Without question. They're quicker than you. Why are they quicker than you? They're dead. Just keep running around them. Just keep running around them. Are we in the battle over here? Our archers have started firing. Ah, oh, and they've started targeting Mark Walden himself. I don't have any qualms with that. Who have we got over there? Crypt ghouls. Crypt ghouls. They do have ghosts. No, no, no. You're ghouls. Ah, oh, you're a perfect candidate for a cavalry charge. And you, Graveguard Great Weapons. Eagle deal with those skeleton warriors. Keep running. Keep running. Just keep that Black Knight unit 
out of the way and out of our trouble. For off one, for duty. Orders received. Silver Helms. Silver Helms, well done. Pull yourselves out. Illyrian archers. They have got them down to half health now. We've also got a Crypt Ghoul Battalion over here running after us, but we're not concerned about the Crypt Ghouls. I just want those Black Knights out. Right, the enemy has come. Mark Walden is charging in on our general. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Oh, Silverhelms. Let's move you away. Illyrian. I let them catch you. Sorry, sorry. Archers over here, they're firing quite nicely. Ah, oh, look, there's a perfect opportunity. Pin him and kill him. I think that's got him dead. The Silverhelms are keeping some units busy over there. Even if they're not actually... Yes, the enemy lord is down. Yes, 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 yes. There's a there's Melvillain over there. If someone can shoot, you can shoot. Uh, you best shoot to them. You go for them and you get involved there. You shoot them as well. And you guys help out the eagle. She's definitely about to rout. Speaking of helping out the eagle. Keep running away. Keep running away. Right, I think we're going to do it. Yeah, look, they're crumbling. They're crumbling. They're crumbling. Both of you hit that grave guard. You go for the necromancer. The army in our lines are dying. There is now only one. Yes, the black. Yes, the Illyrian Reaver archers have done their job. The grave guard have been hit. Let's get involved. You charge into them. That should shut them down. Silverhelms, you just pull out. You guys keep the crypt ghouls. I can. You should be able to um, skirmish on your own now. That's the end of those grave guard great weapons there. There's some grave guard in the centre, which is going to give us some grief. Ah, the eagles routing. That's all right. Yes, they've won that. Get those crypt ghouls. There is still a reasonable sized army alive over there. And the Grave Guard are much stronger than I thought they'd be. But their leadership has dropped quite heartily. Lyrian archers just keep running. You hit those skeleton spearmen. No, don't do that. Look, they've turned just as I tap them. It's almost as if the AI knows when you've done a thing. <laughs> because it does. No, we're definitely going to win this. In fact, we have already actually almost won. Melvillain's down and the last units go and it's ours to take. That's not close at all. Almost our entire army is still alive. Do me a flavour, game. Give me the credit I am due. We only lost 168 elves. And they lost their entire bloody army. I think that is an achievement. Where's my damned achievement? Our top kills, 152. Lothan Seaguard. Archers. Our archers didn't even take a hit. Not a single archer unit lost a single man. Our entire... that Oh, that was just fantastic. I've peaked, everyone. I'm never going to play better than that ever again. Um, I think you can probably all stop watching now. It's only going to be worse from here on out. Their deaths are necessary. How did you survive? You just died. Don't give me that. Yeah, bugger off, Musulon. Go on. Sail away. Sail away. They've not sailed away, but um, <laughs> I'd like them to. I'd like them to very much. <sighs> and now another opportunity to... Oh, this is this one's not even a challenge. We've got Sisters of Avalon. Azuma, you're not going to win this. But if you wish to throw your lives away, uh, Ulthuan is on the verge of destruction. The undead attack us from the northeast. The Druki come from the northwest and the west. We've got Norsken raiders attacking us in the south. 
And yet, against that backdrop, you think that taking your town with your pitiful little garrison and standing alone against the overwhelming might that musters against Alt One is the way to go. Well, I have news for you, love. It's not the way to go. You've made a critical mistake, and I will slay every single one of you with extreme prejudice. But until we get the opportunity to do that, I'm going to run to the corner like a coward. And then I shall slay you with extreme prejudice. Move into positions. Give me my sisters of Avalon. Right, run away, they're getting shot at. Ah, the Silver and Garda here. Just move forward, we'll move you when you're there. Where are you all? Oh, you obey. literally are right in the corner. Could you be further away? Oh, the eagle's coming. Yes. Yeah, bring the eagle in. Bring the eagle in. We'll take it there. Sisters of Avalon, get moving, get moving. Archers. Archers. There's a great eagle. Kill it. They're not killing it. No, no, it is taking losses. It's catching up with the Reavers. Do a turn. It won't be able to turn in the sky that quickly. Yes. It's overplayed its hand. There's no way it's quicker on land than it is in the air. It's a giant chicken when it's on the ground. Stupid bloody game. It's taken a few. It's taken a few. Oh, the enemies are wasting a health spell on it. Bring it down. 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 Come on, guys. Let's get moving. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Serve the king. Setting now, as pull back so that we can form a nice solid line. There we are, we're back, we're back. The Sisters of Avalon are getting ready. The Silver and Guard are in position. Ah, Silver Helms are targeting them. Right. Archers, you deal with their only ranged unit, which is interesting. Oh, what was that? Oh, the tree thing. Ah, yes. That's the reason why I like the life one. I, I really like the look of that. It may not be the strongest spell. In fact, it probably is far from it because it's the tree of life. But um, it looks cool, and that's all I'm in for. <laughs> yes, the eagle's dead. No, hit those. So you're going to target them. I tell you what, you target them as well. You guys are dealing with their Lothan Sea Guard. They've only got one unit, so it's never going to be able to best us. General, plow through. The general. Sisters of Avalon are doing a number on those. If you guys can hit them on the side. You've met with them. You guys go and keep them at bay. Just keep shooting them, I'm not too concerned. This battle is easily already over. Sisters of Avalon are an absolute force of nature. They are fantastic. And she's not going to survive much longer at all. Kill! Excellent. Ah, but they did bring their cavalry back into the game. Kill them. Loyal. Kill them. Sisters, turn, 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 turn. Don't turn, shoot. Ah, they're running away, they're breaking. It's done, it's done. We needn't, they're like machine gunners. It's just crazy. We did lose our Reavers, but then that's all right. This is, um, they're the garrison Reavers, weren't they? They'll replenish. Perfect. So we've dealt with the Avalon Uprising. We've dealt with Musalon for at least this turn. We've got Clan Eshin to deal with. And then now Firun, who supported Solandiel, is going to head south and take out Leaf's little 
little uprising, Leaf's little pain in the neck. It's so annoying how easy it is for the AI to absolutely Take ruin your settlements. One little army just sails through, and it's got it's barely even a, a strong army in it. Well, we gained a talisman, that's pretty good. Imminent rebellion in the marshes. More talismans gained. She's an exterminator, she's good against the Skaven. She's a campaigner, movement range buff, that's good. Melville and Sigibald is dead, Azuma is dead. Far beneath an arch mage. Can I offer assistance? Retreat! Honor calls. Perfect. Prince. Right, and then if you could Ready to march. head down to Port Elistor. My way. We need that back. Chaos is spreading. We've got some money, Evershale, if you would give me a plaza. Tor Anlek. Oh, you can only upgrade me that. Time is of the essence. For order! The Kadai! 15. We we lost 15. They're dead. The Musalon essence. is coming for Varda's Haven, but if we go and sit in that. Varda's Haven, yes, please upgrade that. Nothing else gives a garrison, does it? There's no other building that gives a garrison apart from the very tippy top of these ones. That unlocks recruitment, but no garrison. We can improve the port here, which I think we probably should. Misnar is once again ravaged. That's all they ever do. She still can't get through to the quartermaster just yet. She's closing in, but she's not there yet. Um, if you could spread some more public order, because this region... We want to try and boost the public order. Now, speaking of boosting it, let's build a plaza again. So, Ulthuan relatively under control. We'll just nip back and take Port Elastor, and then we'll take Angeriel as well, which is stopping Eotain. Prepare to be ripped to shreds. Ah, but the Hunt Marshal is doing so well. Hunt Marshal, you are my hope here to stop Leif Erikson. He's not called Leif Erikson, is he? That's the name of the gentleman who sailed to uh, the uh, in the Vinland Saga, isn't it? Or am I thinking of Anno 1404? Prince Elthari. I seek they cannot live. Quick head taker. We meet. I will control this battle myself just to make sure that we really do kill them off. Warblock Gisales. We'll need to deal with them. We've got two flying units. We should be able to hit them. The rattling guns come in our archer range so they will fall. Warp grinders otherwise storm vermin. And Quig himself is level 11. Now Altharian is level 28. So we considerably outclass the little stunted fellow. But I'm sure he'll still do some damage. But he is wounded. And a, a volley of elven arrow fire should remind him of our supremacy in no time at all. But speaking of volleying... Oh, it's this battle map. Me and this battle map, we go back. We go way back. We're good friends. We're very good friends. Right, you all start on the hill. Faith bearers, this time you're going to be the right hand flank instead of grouping, and Silverin will just curl you around the mountain. Where are the warp lock jezails? There they are. Right, we'll be dealing with both of them, so. You and you. They will probably want to target you, so they'll spend ages running around over there, I expect, as our army positions. Right, I am going to pause it rather than slow because I really, really, really want to win this. <laughs> we need to break the back of Eshin's insane hordes. Um, and I said I was only going to put one of you over there, but actually I am going to move one of you over here. To hold on top of the hill. And archers, again, let's form a nice little grouping. And we'll manoeuvre you as, and as is necessary as the enemies come and go. You and you, you guys can group together. Come over here. Let's move forward. The range on those Jezails is big, but it's not gigantic. I mean, if we keep them on the move, they aren't going for our general. It's almost as if they don't know he's there. We go. Keep them, keep them chasing you, but keep shooting them. Keep shooting them. Gutter runners. I don't like those gutter runners. What are they? Are they s stone throwers or they throw stones? It's literally a 
<laughs> stone thrones. Bring them back. Our lines are ready. Oh, and they have done exactly as we hoped they would and abandoned their warp blocks to the back of their army. Where they get that annoying clan power. As you say. The enemy has arrived in range of our units now. The war blocks are going to be dealt with by our two generals on their steeds. Mighty and valiant steeds. Eltharion, give them a go. Right, how does the line hold? Ah, oh, those units are running away. Curl around, you're not going to actually need to be on the flank. Curl around, you're not going to need to be on the flank. Ah, oh, we've got a Shadow Warrior unit engaged. You guys, bring them round here. Atharian is hit. Why can't you do it on them? Target enemy. Oh, does he have to be in the air to do that? I'm not really sure, but in any event, he's not doing it. I fight for Ibrex. Right. Um, otherwise, though, as expected, um, our army, our Eltharian's army, is a powerhouse, and it's going to take the Skaven some real skill to either, to break through what we've got against them. Now they have got a rattling gun team, which is powerful and is useful. But the Gisales and anything up there is dead. Eltharian's not going to be troubled with crap like that. Where's the general? Let us put an end to this. Oh, there he is. Queek. Queek, I'm afraid there's not room for you in my prison. So I can't capture you. Don't let the warp block shoot at you. Ah, uh, Globideers. They've got Globideers as well. Bring those down. Otherwise, this is over, isn't it? What, what's actually... It's just the Queek hasn't broken yet. We can speed it up. There's the victory. Right, um, let's slow it down actually so that we can capture him. So, faith bearers, pull yourselves away. Silver and guard, run away over there. And then every arch unit that we have who can fire is going to target Queek. Give him the full force of your fury. Don't run in the way of the archers. There we go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's get Altharian and our noble. Yes! Down he goes. End it. Decisive victory, as expected. And again, the auto-resolve bar suggested that that was going to be a challenge. It was a more 50-50. That was an absolute walk in the park. 159 losses, and that was only because I accidentally forgot to move the, war the Shadow Warriors. 144 kills archers, 157. 157 takes the top spot. 144 is second, and 139 is third. All of them archers. They will toil for Prince Elthar. Fangsword ready. Altharian, pull yourself back. And we are now in this one. Brilliant. Favourable wins. Yes. Missile strength. Our archers are now even better. And Turin, continue making it. If you could get speed boost, actually, I think that'd be quite handy. Right, so if you sit there for a turn, you'll you'll replenish. Strike them down. Morkheim. Oh, no, the walls. And look at her army. There's no way. I think we've got to break the siege and try and run away. She's never going to get away in time. If she heads in deeper, she's gonna. She's just gonna die. Ephilia, you've done absolutely fantastically, but now I can't do anything to save you. Our only bet is to attack and take Morgheim. Our only hope. But we're gonna lose so many troops to do that. We're gonna lose so. Many. But then we can retrain her army quite quickly. Um, and while we've got the money, I will get up to that tier. Manway's Gate. Manway's Gate. We've got our horse. We don't have a barracks anymore because that was down here. So you can build us the militia camp. Yeah, we've got the lions and the horses over in Gorgazan. And speaking of over in Gorgazan, um, Thegan's Errantry. Bow before the rightful lords of the realm, and I'll hear your demands. I tried to bow before you, but you won't let me. You won't let me. Because they're going to attack Gorgazan. There's just no way that they're not. 
Kemri is basically now dead, so we really did make a terrible decision there. That was so stupid. Oh, if you move around there, actually, that's better. I'm not going to... If we get attacked there, we'll just have all of that on us. We've got to break the siege and run away. It's our only hope. It's our only hope. Anywhere we run, we're going to be chased down. But we've got to try. We've got to try. Um, Poet's disciple. If we run deeper in, we succumb to... And if we run out there, that unit can chase us and that unit will assist if they get attacked. Never. But that army is obviously pathetic. Arkstorm Snarl. <clears throat> That's the best way to try and run her away. If we go over there, I'm sure... We've got... We just run deeper in. I know we're losing troops. A new fortress of magic. I can move you a little bit further, but they'll catch us. Stupid. You've got to go, you've got to go. Right, in here, we've got him. I do Kill both of them. What I must. Upgrade the combat Never school. Fought. That's all of those upgraded. Never. Ah, oh, Ivress's defenses are at maximum. Successfully increased Ivress's defenses to their maximum. Ah, so Ulthuan is now quite nicely protected. Renew so we've only got two things battles. left in Al in Athel Tamara to upgrade. But they were both executed. Ulthuan Didn't give him anything. So at tier three, the mists spread to any outer region of Ulthuan owned by a defensive or military ally. So there are mists all over Ulthuan now. But what the mists actually do, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, Batten down the hatches. Does it say... Mists of Ivress, there we are. Campaign movement is plus 10% for my armies. And it gives you the army availability envelop in mist. And that seems to be it. So all it does is boost your speed. But it must then also affect the enemy, surely. The oh, the Marshes of Madness is going to rebel, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh, I really don't want Hephylia to die, but she's going to, isn't she? She's going to die. Clan Rixes have decided to come back. Oh, and they've come for me. Perfect. So they're going to get a foothold on Ulthuan. That's brilliant. That's lovely to see. Um, I couldn't want that more. That's that's fantastic. I was really hoping that might happen. Uh, please, Border Princes, do something. They, they Get involved. I can't give you anything. I want to pay you to get involved, but I just can't. Musalon is going for Tor Anlek. I mean, that's fine. Bugger off. Take it. It's yours. And then the rebels coming in at Floating Village. Now, that says we have a chance to win that, actually. It's just the the general, the spellcaster. There's some clan rat spears, clan rats, scaven slave singers. Two archers and three spearmen. I mean, I'd like to hold the province, so I'm going to fight it. A strong leader is Come on! Let us use and channel the victory in the defence of um, Varda's Haven. We can hold these back. We're 84 turns in and I have almost nothing. Um, Alright, I've got a large chunk of old one, but... My uh, Elite in our campaign went so much better. But he is such a fantastic general. And his set area of the map is so much easier to fight on. You've basically just got one direction to go and... Everyone that hates you comes from that direction. Also, when I played as Aletha Nar, Heshuatl uh, did so much more. They actually survived for a start. Right, the Skaven Slave Singers obviously will be a pain, and we've got to deal with them. But we've got a really big hill here that's really going to help. So, bring them down. They're only sending their archers in for now. The spearmen can take it. Just bring them down. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And then when they run, tag team them. The Skaven Slave Singers are abysmal. They do almost no damage. No one likes being shot at, though, do they? So. Move out there and keep them... Right. Let's force their hand a little bit here. When their leader dies, the Skaven become pathetic. March. Swiftly. 
You are able to shoot him. Look, he's perfectly placed. Pin him in location. I'm not bothered about actually capturing him, but if we can just at least really do a number on his health. And when he's standing still, it's so much easier to do. And if he can go before those those units on the side. Yes, they've cut in and they've not gone for the archers, idiots. They should have gone for the archers. Alright guys, just hold, just hold. Don't let these little s clan rats do anything. Come on, we're a sure. We are Asa. Yeah, he's come out of the jail, but he's taken a, pe a beating. He's starting to run, but he's about to do something. No, against them. No, he's running away. Move on those clan rats. Don't worry about him, he's running away. Target the Skaven slaves. I think we probably have got this without speaking just too soon. Because... We're better than them. <laughs> that unit is taking a pounding though, and that's our general. But these guys... Now this guy's in the middle of winning. We will obey. For order. Let's speed it up. There's nothing really that we can do other than waiting to see him die. Will he die before he gets there? No, he just arrived in time. But he's routing as soon as he arrives. Keep it on him, keep it on him. You guys go and get involved. Let's kill the general this time, please. You're shooting above him. Are you aware that you're shooting over his head? The unit ran. He's running away again, but he has almost no health. Oh, but our archers are out. And devolves. We should have targeted. We, he's came so close to dying. Shameful display. Shameful <laughs> display. And now we are the ones that are suffering under the fire of the Skaven slaves. Even though they do hardly any damage, our archers now, I think we're going to lose this now. If I chase them, they'll just run away. But then at least chasing them and making them run away takes them out of battle. Now we're fighting uphill. That's never going to go well. They are actually running. Those clan rat spears have survived. Yeah, we should have we should have shot the spears, not the general. Should have shot the spears, not the general. I mean, the general is done and he's gone and he's routed and that's all well and good, but it's not going to help. We are so out now. It's just, this is a loss. Those archers are going to run all the way away. Yeah, it's over. Valiant defeat, though. At least it's not fallen to the uh, clinician, but they'll be through in a second. It's annoying that we have these fantastic, powerful nations standing right next to us, and they're not getting involved. Border Princes and Karazakarak are both powerful nations. They've got strength, they've got numbers, they've got the ability. They like me, and yet they aren't doing anything. Kemri has been destroyed, which means Gorgazan's about to go down. We finally got our martial law. Upkeep has gone down. Armour for... Yep, yeah, I'll take that. So. Hephaelia. Master of high magic. You might be able to make it. If I can just get you out. We have shaped this world. Prince Eltharion. Um, I don't want I don't like the look of that. I think we should go and shut him down and then just Avenged sort of hover around this area. Take their it's heads. very annoying that you move so damn slowly. With that minus five percent upkeep across the board on almost every unit we have, we suddenly have loads of money. 
I must go. I've got to get you Not out. I have got thing. to get you out. The best bit, to be honest, is to go to the floating village. Let's spend the spade and move faster. And we'll buy it, and then at least she'll recover. Right, back in old one. Time is of the essence. Miss Nair is reviving. She's alright. They're all coming in at Tor Anlek, which I'm not too concerned about because I serve the king. he should be able to get back there relatively quickly. Traveling. Ah, Yeten came back and dealt with them. Perfect. Right, so what you've got to do is take that back, which you can do on the next turn, and then you can return north. Standing by. So with you, I think it. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to damn well gamble. We march on. Leoness is the actual capital. I didn't realise that. Time but no, we're going to go for Musalom. Ready for orders. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. I'm gambling. I'm gambling. It's a real punt, but we're doing it. We are doing it. Eotain is finally mustering some strength and is really pushing the cult out now. So the cult's only got two real provinces and a gate. Um, they kicked off the Skeggy. And the Huntmaster's expedition is helping us with that. We've got our defensive alliance, so that's good enough. So what we need to do is really try and get... Um, let's really try and get peace with them, but they're just not going to do it, are they? They're going to come for us. I know they're going to come for us. I just know they're going to come for us. Come on, everyone. Come on. Stay strong. With the south defended for Iniatane, I mean, if we can get... I, I really don't care if Toran like falls. It's a, it's a nothing province that's giving me, only giving me grief. But I am going to raid Musadon. You can be sure of that. I don't care if it means they come and take one of our towns. I'm going to finally take the fight to the heartland of our enemy and give them a damn good thrashing. Nagaron's finally come and gotten involved as well. Clan Rixus is buggering off. Maybe they're leaving that for Musadon. Eshin, you can send, you can bring everyone you want. It's not going to be enough. It is not going to be enough, he says, through very, very not disbelieving myself. Right, come on. We've been ambushed by Eshin. There's going to be all three of them involved. But I think we made the right call. This is how the Skaven do well, in to my mind and my knowledge. They um. They catch you out on guard, on mass. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I'd like to control the army now, please. All right, pause it. All right, the reinforcements are coming in from all the way over there. So we can just pull back. And we've got shadow warriors, which will pull back quite nicely. Right, um, silver and guard, you can very easily just take position on that hill. Shadow walkers, just turn and face. And then all of our archers are over there. Entire archer force. Archer force, just stand like that. Um, maybe not that far up the hill, actually. My shadow warriors, just turn and face. Faith bearers, give yourself a turn there. Why can't I do that? Does it only affect things in the air? Oh, yes, it does. It appears to only affect flying units. It doesn't. He he doesn't have to be in the air. The enemy has to be in the air. All right, let's reposition. You go and hit those. If you could go and deal with the master assassin, actually, the two of you together should be able to deal with him. Now the enemy that army that actually attacked us is not very powerful at all. Um, not very powerful in the slightest. And they're definitely going to kill the, the general of our enemy there. And then we've just got those coming in. Now if we've got one unified front, we've got much more chance. And if we can swap and take position on the hill, that will help us greatly. I think that's what we're going to have to do here, isn't it? Right, let's slow it down. Silver and Guard, turn around. Faith Bearers, come out wide. Faith Bearers, come out wide. Shadow Walkers, if you keep the enemy at bay, you guys run up the hill. And our Archer line, if you can, come and get on top of the actual hill. 
Our generals are giving the enemy grief. But no, that's that first army, no trouble, no challenge. Done and dusted and away they go. We don't want to waste that on a, just a nothingy general in the middle of nowhere. Where's the Shadow Walkers? Shadow Walkers are manoeuvring into position. Archers, Archers fire, 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 fire. That should get them to, to go. They've popped another one of their... Um, we are coming from the undergrowth thing. Or it just finished. Either one. That army's routing. Keep him going. Noble, come back. Turin, come back, come back, come back. We must take up positions. Come and get into positions, come on. Shadow Walkers, move to the top of the hill. Just keep the enemy away. You're going for them. Where are the Faith Walkers? Ah, they're on the wrong sides, but we're changing the way we're facing now. Once Eltharion has dealt with him, which he should hopefully do, he doesn't seem to be landing. But even if he just scares him away, he can fly back very quickly, so that'll be alright. Right, the enemy is, is getting ready. So, Shadow Walkers, let's move you over there. Ah, oh, no, deal with them. Go on, run down the hill and hit them. It's the only enemy that's still behind us. They're routing already. We've got the hill bonus. It's going to be a massacre. It is a massacre. Don't shoot them when they run away. We don't need to bother with that. Come back in. Archers are ready. Noble is ready. Eltharion, have you chased them away? Yes, come and get round the corner. They don't have any flying units. But this is a real test of our strength today, everyone. It will be on us to uphold dignity and order in the Badlands. We are forsaken by our so-called allies. The Border Princes do not rise to the challenge. They do not answer the call. Yes, you keep wasting your fireball on my general. Look at that. Look at that. They're down before they know where they are. Wait until he gets a bit closer. And lock him. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. You move out and get him too. Come on, everyone. Give him everything we've got. And... Yes! He's dead. He's down. He's ours. Bilefilch comes for the same, but we give him... Right, pop in that one. And then actually move on them. Heal yourself. Because the enemy is doing its best at keeping you engaged. Faithbearers return. Faithbearers curl around. Shadow walkers get up on that hill. Archers. Oh, bugger. I was not paying attention. Eltharian's been slain by rattling gun teams. Damn, that's going to be a blow. That's going to be a real blow. That's going to be a real massive blow. Shadow walkers are curling around. You're not doing anything. Go and get involved. There are a lot of them, but we've got a lot of archers. Shadow Walkers, keep running away and keep firing while you're doing it. Uh, yeah, we are outnumbered two to one. Oh, I'm really annoyed that I basically just gifted them Eltharion. You keep pulling the enemy away and keep shooting at them while they're running. Just keep showering our enemy with arrow fire. Bring them down. Faithbearers get involved. A 
warlock master or something over there. Shadow warriors. Loyal. You keep bringing down those spears. You've pulled them out of position. That's nice. As you say. For Oakland, archers. For order. Hit that rattling gun team and bring it down. Without fail. Death to all. For the ever queen. Death run is there and Bile Filch the assassin, but you should be able to kill him. Shadow Warriors have done their job. Pull back in. There is so many routing units. Archers are doing fantastically well. Our Silver and Guard have held. Our Noble still leads us. Turin is alive. Turin, come over here and help our archers on that side. Just keep raining death down upon them. Ah, oh, we're getting down into number parity now. Yes. You are going to lose, Eshin, and I am going to dance on the grave of thousands of filthy rat vermin. I say graves in the plural. We won't give you the honour of graves. We shall dig a large hole in the ground, fill it with your bodies, and burn it so that the flames of your dead will be seen from the world's edge mountains themselves. I will send a thousand messages to your kind. Think you best the Asser. You fight us in our moment of glory. Know when you are beaten. I'm quite pleased that we have managed to decimate this army, I have to confess. I'm not just pleased, I'm absolutely ecstatic. Oh, are they taking a hit from that? All right, all of you come and hit that sorcerer then. Spears pull back out. Don't get don't get stuck in there. So we got the spears and we got the Athel Tamara. Group together. Don't chase them down. Just pull back. Just pull back. Archers that can still fire. Form a line. Archers that can no longer fire. Come and stand on this hill and get out of the way. Go and support our brothers over there. What is that sort of rattling any noise? It's really annoying. <laughs> Archers, can I be praised? Hit the rattling guns. As you say. Spearman. I'm surprised they still have as many men as they do, to be honest. That's a really annoying noise. Oh, it's you over here, isn't it? Come on, go and finish him off. I'll just go with him. Kill the warp fire throwers. You've now also finished with your arrows. Uh, our units over there are taking a bit of a beating. But the victory is ours! Yes! Speed it up and kill everything we can. That is an absolutely overwhelming victory that is going to secure so much land. Yes! Eltharion, you masterful bastard. Apologies for the blue language. He even died and we still did it. I was so sure we were going to lose when Eltharion went down. Is he actually going to be wounded or because the army survived, is he just going to... Is he going to be at the head of it or does he have to disappear for a while? 360 kills of faith bearers. We really need to get more mist walkers into this army. Take them captive. No, Eltharion has gone for a time. We've got to wait until we can get him back. That's really annoying because his army is going to then suddenly cost us an arm and a leg. But we must capitalize on this and move on Dragonborn and move on Bitterstone and keep just pushing the Eshin away. I think Hephaelia is just about going to get out. We have to wait and see. What are Musalon going to do? They've come for Toranlek and they're sailing everyone to Toranlek. They're ignoring the fact that I've sailed. They are. They're going full. You fools. <laughs> you fools. You've committed. I don't really want any of you, to be honest. Um, might as well take you, though. Uh, no, I'd rather have a, a noble, another prince, if we've got to take someone. Um, Archmages, Prince, there's a Prince, Pigeon Chested, no, that's bad. Oh, there's so many. Prince, Disorganised, nope. Never take that as a trait. 
I think that is about all the options, really. There's a retaliatory princess. She gives a missile strength, though. Um, yeah, go on, let's take you, I think. And then we're up into the Archmages again. There's another princess with resolute. There's a prince with respectful. Lead no, not bothered about that. I'd rather have a prince than a princess. That's my thing. Speed of melee that makes you better. And then we're at the top. No, I will take that princess then. That gives our archers a boost. She's further down. Where was she? Retaliatory. There we are. Deloria. Protector of Old One. I serve the Phoenix King. Welcome, Deloria, to the finest army we have. Give him immortality where we can. We did lose a unit. We lost an archer, I assume. Or possibly a silver and guard. Eltharion's out for four turns. So four turns, Deloria's got to capitalize. And she's cost so much money. She just costs so much money. Build both of those, please. Well, we're not going to be attacked, so you might as well sail. Well, no, 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 no there's no point. We either can or we can't get to it, and we can't get to it just yet, so we'll have to wait a turn to do that anyway. So send her to do that. Oh, and I just built those build. No! Yatain! No! Oh, for God's sake. There's no way we're confederating yet, and I need that. I will hear your words, but I make no promises of aid. Understood. We're military allies, but that's all we are. Can I offer assistance? I will see to it. Loyal Prince. Ah, go and retrain your army then. Allies, man, they're not all they're cracked up to be. Not all they're cracked up to be at all. But that is going to be where I'm going to end this episode, number 11. Um, so once again, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Now that we are finally striking out on Musalom, hopefully we can take them down quickly and ideally we will just crush them. Um, while their army fiddles around in Tor Annek and does nothing, we should be able to take Musalom and Leoness from them, Leoness from them without much trouble. Our army over here will just have to retrain and do something with. There's not much point to having that army, actually. With Eotain now doing so well, they've taken Toranrock as well. Um, there now is only two Cult of Pleasure provinces, and then Eotain is at war with everyone that I am. So they will probably move up and take Toranrock back themselves. So I'm tempted. We'll just leave that army for now, and um, we'll move it north, of course, and sit in the gate. But we'll, we'll worry about that in a moment. And over here, we just need to wait until the Eltharian comes back. But for now, that's going to be all. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. And until we speak again, dear friends... Navar Naden Pedamad Malunin and farewell.